Now it's time for me to give you my predictions for the 2023 Formula One season. Top 10 in terms of team standings, okay? Starting with P1. Hey guys, so first of all, welcome to the channel. We have a Fittipaldi Brothers channel on YouTube, um, which is in Portuguese, and we decided to create this Fittipaldi Brothers uh, English YouTube channel because I got a lot of comments of people, you know, wanting to see the content um, in English as we show a lot of the behind the scenes in F1, F2, IndyCar, and all sorts of other racing. But for the first video on this channel, we're here for the Formula One 2023 preseason testing i'm here with haz acting as a reserve driver so i'm going to show you guys a bit of the behind the scenes and what we do on a day-to-day -day here at uh you know preseason formula one testing let's go starting off f1 has this new uh entrance to the paddock which they've never had before it's pretty cool pretty cool in my opinion i was just out on track so radio put my glass in And we're in the paddock, starting off with Williams, and Haas is the eighth team, so we're the third team down here. There's Alpha Tauri, and then Haas. So guys, here is the team hospitality, where basically all the engineers, mechanics, drivers, everybody eats, and as well, there's an engineering uh, debrief room where all the engineers are studying all the data. I'll show you guys, let's take a look. So starting off with something very important for the team, the coffee machine. So this is where the team makes the coffee. We have a lot of Italians, so it's important to have good coffee, good tea as well over there for the English people. Other people also drink tea, but the English um, people from England drink a lot of tea throughout the day. And that's our coffee machine. I'm not gonna make one now because I drank, drank like three coffees already. So I'm gonna have to slow down a little bit. That is uh, where the engineers stay. They work, they analyze the data, make setup changes, and that's where we do all the, the briefings uh, with the drivers after the sessions. Hey guys, so here in the garage, uh, the team actually has a specific place just for the mechanics and engineers to be able to get like coffee, uh, hydration drinks, some fruits and granola, because sometimes they don't have time in testing to go back to the hospitality. So this is a little room for it. Everybody has their drink bottles granola, a bunch of stuff, coffee obviously, tea as I said before, fruits, electrolyte drinks, I drink this in the race car as well, coffee capsules, granolas. There's my fifth coffee of the day. So F1 asked me to do some commentary on F1 TV, so I'm just waiting for them to let me in. We got the golf cart, made it over here, and uh, gonna try to be a commentator for a little bit talk a little bit about testing this is where all the f1 tv booths uh f1 tv booths stay up and for all the channels f1 tv f1 commentary um sky uk over here that's where you know the narrators uh commentators talk about the race sky italy let's go give you a bit of an insight and if you've been months you know kind of without training or without being in the car at least you have friday where you know you have friday i got two practices saturday you have another practice and you're able to kind of build up to it you know for the race and make sure you don't get too tired but at least build your your neck kind of wake it up before you actually go into the race because qualifying and practice is fine but it's more the race when you're out there for almost two hours that it starts giving out and it gives out a lot in their braking People think it's only the cars, but these cars, the stopping power of the Formula 1 car, they're so incredible that in their braking, sometimes you can't hold your head back and you can't see the corner because your head's full. practice 
things are looking pretty interesting here in testing. Um, a lot of surprises, I think, this season. Going out on track, I've been out a couple times throughout these days of testing just to look at the cars, the car behaviors, and a lot of people now on the last day are doing uh, performance qualifying runs. So it's going to be interesting to see how the cars are behaving and who's looking strong. I'm going to let you guys know what I see. So guys, we're out here on track. Sorry, I'm screaming, but these, car, these cars are super loud. Um, basically, throughout the three days of testing, um, you know, the team wanted me to go to some of the corners and be able to see the handling of the cars. Because sometimes when you're out on track and you're at the corner, you can see a lot more than looking at an onboard or telemetry. I mean, you can just compare to the other cars and look at some of the tendencies in the short runs, in the long runs. You can look at the tire degradation, the way the, the car is, is moving throughout the corner. So I've been all around the track. Right now, um, in turn one and turn two, that's where they're exiting out turn one and then turn two. And uh, just been able to see, it's the last day of testing now. And we're able to really tell who are the strong guys uh, of this preseason testing, which most likely will be the same next week for the race. Um, and it's pretty interesting. I'll show you guys some shots a bit, not closer, but from my point of view over here. So it's interesting to hear, every time they exit out of turn two and get on that exit curb, sometimes you only hear the tires and you hear it go like, bah, 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 bah. sorry. Okay, that was my uh, me trying to make a tire uh, noise. But sometimes you hear the plank touching and you can kind of tell that some teams are running the car. That was only the tire touching the curb, but sometimes you hear the plank touching it, and that means that team is running the car a bit lower, and these are things you can't tell um, if you're not on track. That was only the tire hitting the curb, but I'm gonna find an example showing you the actual plank hitting the curb. It's a different sound. Guys, now it's time for me to give you my predictions for the 2023 Formula One season. Top 10 in terms of team standings, okay? Remember, I've been here following the preseason testing with Haas, um, but I'm not gonna put any bias to, to what, I'm, what I'm saying. It's literally me um, giving you my predictions of what I've been able to see. So, top 10, starting with P1, the reigning champions. They look very, very fast. P1, Red Bull. Second place, Ferrari. Third place, it's very, very tight, but let's take it, you know, make it a little bit risky here with my prediction. Aston Martin for P3. Fourth, Mercedes. Remember, Mercedes can turn things around very quickly, so I won't be surprised if they end up in front of Aston Martin, but Aston do look very strong at the moment. Fifth place, Alfa Romeo. Sixth, Alpine. Seventh, Haas. Eighth place, McLaren. Ninth place, Alpha Tauri, and 10th place, Williams. Like I said, some of those big teams, they look a little bit lower in the pecking order, but it's only preseason testing and they can turn things around super quick. But from what I've seen, that's my top 10. Guys, I hope you liked the first video on the Fittipaldi Brothers YouTube channel in English. Uh, we'll be posting a lot of behind the scenes, you know, me following Haas in Formula 1, my brother in Formula 2, and as well my seasons in WEC and IMSA. So if you guys like the content you see, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. Thank you.